Welcome back, Seth Bling here. This is a little test world I threw together to demonstrate my new MC Edit filter. It's got two platforms. One is this platform, it's made of stone, and here's a platform that's the exact same size. And do you notice the difference? Take a look. That's right, there are no slimes spawning on this platform. And that's, again, because of that MC Edit filter that I wrote. You can download it, and to install it, you just put it in the filters folder of your MC Edit installation. And all you have to do is just select a region, select a platform like this, and run my ban slimes filter, and it'll make sure that slimes don't spawn in that region. I think I actually had to select a region that it's like a, a chunk or two wider than this actual platform, but yeah, so just select the region and run the filter, and slimes won't spawn there. Uh, let me explain how this works because it has some important consequences. So here is a, a web app that you can use to determine where slimes can spawn in your world. Now for each seed, uh, slimes will only spawn in certain chunks. This is a map for seed zero, just that's the seed, it's just zero, around the origin. And the green, the green chunks are the ones where slimes can spawn, and the white ones are chunks where slimes cannot spawn. And so if you use seed zero, the chunks are always going to look like this, and slimes can only spawn in certain chunks or whatever. Now here's what it looks like for seed one. Okay, so if I'm looking to select a region like this in MC Edit and make sure that slimes aren't going to spawn there, then obviously for seed one, slimes are going to spawn there. Well, let's look at seed two. Okay, yep, seed three, and etc. I can keep going through all of these seeds, and my filter will eventually find a seed, like this one, where no slimes spawn there. So it'll actually change the seed for your entire map to the seed where slimes aren't going to spawn. Now it's not guaranteed that you'll find a seed where, uh, where slimes don't spawn like that. Uh, if you select a large enough region, no matter how long it looks, it's not going to be able to find a seed that matches you what you want perfectly. This is actually about the largest size of a region that you can reasonably expect to get uh, to get all the slimes banned from. Um, well again, about two chunks beyond each edge of this platform, but you can't really do much bigger than this because otherwise you're adding too many constraints and it's just not going to be able to find a seed like that. But And again, it, it does change the seed for your world, so if you're doing this in a survival world or something where you expect to generate more terrain, it's going to completely mess up the terrain that gets generated after you run this filter. And also you can only do this for one region per world, because if you run it for this region and then you run it for this region, the second time is going to change the seed and it's going to completely override whatever you did for the first region. And so this only works for one region in the entire world. It's a little bit of a hack, uh, I'll freely admit, but it still might be really useful for people who are building mini games uh, that involve, well, that where slimes might spawn near the bottom of the world. Of course, slimes only spawn near the bottom of the world, so that, that's only a concern for you if that's the case. And this might be useful for like Race for the Wool type maps or other competitive PvP maps where you just want to make sure that the, the, the map is symmetric and you aren't going to have slimes spawning in one half but not the other and kind of ruining the gameplay. So anyway, you can download that from the link in the video description. Again, to install it, you just copy the Python file, uh, bandslimes.py, into your filters folder of your MCA installation, select the region, and run the filter. That's it. And it, it, it may or may not work. If you've selected a region that's too large, it probably won't work. You'll, you'll have to actually have to check the output in the console uh, for MC Edit to see if it did work, or you can just run into the game and, and check if it if it worked. Uh, it's nighttime, so we're starting to get lots of mobs spawning. That's okay. Just wanted to demonstrate the new filter. I think it's pretty cool, and I think it's probably going to have some pretty practical applications for map makers. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.